Um, hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. And, yeah, um, I have a bit of strange things happen. For one, my levels are a tiny bit off from what they were in the last part. Why was that? Because I was an idiot and decided to, instead of save my game after I record like I usually do, just let my... Left my 3DS for the battery to die, and I had to redo that whole entire route again. Yeah, it was not fun. It was not fun at all. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna lead off with Togetic. Oh, shoot, don't wanna fly. Because Togetic, I. Togetic and Piplup tie my lowest level, and Piplup has the experience share on him because on it because it wasn't able to do much that good anyways. Um. Okay, let's go see what we can do. Whoa. whoa. Okay, random galactic grunt here. Um, I don't remember this one being too much of an issue. Uh, let me just see. Hound Hour. Okay, well that's changed from Diamond and Pearl. Because Hound Hour wasn't in that game, but... Okay. I don't think it should still... End. It'll be any sort of a problem for Togetic. Okay, that works. Um, so yeah, I have to also give an edible happy Halloween! Just like I said last year when I recorded Yoshi's Island for two straight videos for Halloween, which was kind of surprising. Um, okay, that works. That really works. Golbat, sure, why not stay in? It's not like this is going to be even any sort of a challenge. Eh. Oh, lovely. Yeah, you don't know how annoying confused confuse I got when I fought that other Golbat on the, like, that route I just did. Because, oh god, that minus accuracy thing is such a pain in the ass. Uh, I might as well try fly, see how much damage that does. I kind of have, I have the same type of attack bonus and hustle, so. Mmm, lame. Ah, oh, shoot, this is gonna be risky. Oh, come on, no, that's stupid. I hate when you flinch. Oh, yeah, I should probably also go buy some more, uh, potions, too. Um, one thing I guess I should say about Celestic Town is that there are no... There isn't a regular Pokemart, but there is a, um, little... I, I kind of want to say little small convenience store, if anything, that sells pretty much the equivalent to that. It also sells herbs, which the herbs they were they're pretty nice items. They restore a lot of HP, but the problem with them is that oh come on, that's like five turns you've been confused. The herbs lower how much your Pokemon actually like you. Okay, you know no no no, you're getting the worst possible punishment. It was before having it was before you ended up getting zapped. This time, you're getting... Hmm... Yeah, impaled by stones. I said impaled by stones, game. That is not funny. That is retarded. Oh, my God. There's no way you'll be able to survive that. Okay, anyways... I also got to give it an, another inedible thing that, um, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, which I would like to show up in front of the show in front of the camera right now, but I have no idea how wise that would be to do something like that. Yeah, Return to Dreamland is a really great game if you haven't played it yet. It's probably, honestly, I'm not sure if I'd like it more than Amazing Mirror, but it's definitely close because it's basically a one huge throwback to every great Kirby, 2D Kirby game. There's so many great similarity, similarities and 
believe it or not, when I first played the game on Friday, I actually played through the entire game. I'm not even joking. I played through the whole thing in one in my first ever session of playing it, which was kind of surprising. I played it all day, but holy crap, it was totally worth it. I haven't played the game much since then. I only missed like maybe five treasures or something like that. Anyways, um, this building back here, uh, you're gonna want to look at it. Um. Wait, never mind. Um. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, this is just basic, like, stuff I don't honestly care about. There is something else really exciting in this area, place, though, that we're going to be doing in this part. And I'm zooming out in the camera here. That was really, really... Like... Not, it was really zoomed in really close, so, yeah, really zoomed in really close. That was great wording there. Anyways, I think this is that little store I was talking about. No, it isn't. Uh, um, okay, Mount Coronet is a place we're going to be getting into much later, but for now we're going to try to ignore it. I mean, we were actually in Mount Coronet earlier, if you can remember. This was where I wanted to come to, was this store here. Um, might as well buy, like, 29, so I'll have 30 of those. And I also do want a fair amount of revives, too. Um, I guess two for each Pokemon I have would be nice. Uh, this guy here is the guy who sells the herbs, um... There's also a route to the left of this place here, which I don't know if I'm going to go to yet or not. It, probably not, at least, because there is something else I want to cover here. Um, I don't know if I want to lead off with To- Um, I'm not sure who I want to lead off with here. I guess Piplup, because Piplup's eh, kind of bulky, has some all right stats, I guess. Okay, I think this is actually where we get a really, really nice move. Oh wait, nope, never mind. Yeah, I knew this was an addition in Platinum, but I didn't know when it was. Like, at what point it was. Anyways. Yeah, battle against Galactic Commander. This is pr this is Cyrus, who is quite possibly my favorite Galactic com per character ever, and he has awesome music. There's no question about it. I love this song. Okay, starts off with Sneasel. Um, Ice Dark type, I guess I should say. I might start making some of the more epic boss fights, like actually explaining what these Pokemon are like, as if some regular guy would start doing. And this is not going to be easy for me at all. Oh yeah. Um, it's super weak to fighting types, so I guess Veneri would be a wise choice to go up, to, go out to. Um, it's just going to use Slash again, so might as well switch out to Veneri here and just get in a jump kick and get over with it. There's nothing else I really can do about that. Okay. Jump kick. Ice punch. Ooh, that could be bad. That's a really powerful attack. Oh, jeez. I didn't expect... Okay, that's actually really powerful. I'm surprised. Um... Eh, uh, why... Uh, yeah, why not? Um, yeah, Amber Palm will be pretty decent for this. Okay, let's see. A double hit should certainly finish it off, and yay, I'm faster. Ambipom's actually a really fast Pokemon, but so is Sneasel, so... Okay, I'm really surprised at that. Double hit was usually really powerful. 
Oh, screw you. Screw you. Matt, I was actually kind of considering putting on Aerial Ace on Ambipalm because it's a perfect accuracy attack, but I'm not really sure what I could really use over it instead. Okay, with a minus attack, you should be able to survive that. Um, let's see how much a double hit will do with minus defense. It should be doing a lot. Um, this is going to be close. Yes! Okay, thank god. Piplup grew to level 32. Not bad. Whirlpool, don't care. And I don't even need... I'm, I'm not even going to be using Bulbeam after this fight, because you might be able to predict what move we're going to be getting. And I'm admitting, I really like the music in this fight against Cyrus. We will be fight rematching Cyrus later on. Oh, this is actually a really early time and a time I'm not used to fighting him because I'm used to Diamond and Pearl where you only fight him twice in the game. You fight him three times in this game. Okay, Golbat. I'm sure we know how to deal with Golbats by now. I could have used Mammoth Swine too, but I kind of want to vary my team up in a little bit here. And I'm surprised Pachirisu is still able to outspeed it. Oh yeah, Pachirisu also, it, because of, it, on level 33, it learned um, Super Fang, which I got rid of Swift for. Super Fang basically, no matter what, automatically does half the opponent's HP, which can be very useful for how weak Pachirisu's stats are and how weak most of my other team in general is. And just general, because of how fast Pachirisu is, it can be a great move to have for this kind of a run. I'm gonna turn the music up so you can hear it a little more. Although now you have the stupid beeping sound here, so not really. Yeah, this song is awesome. Murkrow. Just to vary my team up a little bit, I think... I'd like to go to Piplup for this, so actually, I'm gonna stay in. Oh, hey, it's his last Pokemon, too. Oh, level 36. Yeah, Murkrow's actually his uh, main Pokemon. Um, he does actually evolve it later on, which is gonna be the main reason as to why it's his main Pokemon. But he actually does make it a lot stronger, though, so... Like, his team does get way stronger later on. Oh my god, Drill Peck already? Murkrow's actually not a Pokemon to be taken lightly. It's a gr it can become a great Pokemon. The only problem is if you're playing like in any of the in any of the games, it takes way too freaking long to evolve it. I don't think it's available in platinum, and I know it's a it was a diamond exclusive beforehand, so. Okay, Blizzard! Let's see how much this'll do. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. I was hoping for a freeze there. Uh, I don't think I have much else better I can do at this time. Um, Togetic and Mammoth Swine are still on a good level. I'm going to go to Togetic. Mammoth Swine is perfectly suitable for this. I have Ice Shard, Ancient Power, and uh, Rock Slide Eye. But I'm going to head to Togetic just because Togetic's a lot lower level than Mammoth Swine is. Mammoth Swine is kind of my highest level Pokemon at this time. And yeah, look, see my main, probably my main wall of the team, it took a lot of damage from that Drill Pick. I can't see this doing that much damage. Uh, an alright amount, I guess. Yeah, that Drill Pick is really powerful. Oh, thank god. Okay, this Fly Attack should finish it off. I still say this music is one of the best songs in the game. It might even be one of the best songs in Diamond and Pearl, actually. Like, I, I'd still say my favorite song goes to a route that I used in one segment of Mega Man 4, and I used the music to it and stuff. Okay, anyways, after that battle... <laughs> Remarkable, but I'll be Stopped. And he just leaves. Yeah, Cyrus is a very strange man. Okay. 
HMO3 for Surf. This is the greatest HM, hands down. I actually got an, a field move upgrade in Platinum, and I'm going to explain why when I go to use it. Okay. Um, really quickly, for Surf, I'm going to be instantly teaching this on Piplup. This is the one HM I would never hesitate to teach. Basically, think of this kind of like Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. Well, I don't, I don't even know why I'm explaining this. Pokemon's so, like, well-known that it's, like, impossible for me to, like, people to not know how good this move is. So I don't know why I'm even gonna bother explaining it. It's a fantastic move. There's its stats, by the way. It's 95 base power special attack. It's, like, 30, it's, like, an additional 30, 30 boost from what Bubble Beam was. I honestly don't even remember what Bubble Beam was. Uh, they are really bizarre. And that's where we're going to be heading in the next segment of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. Is the route to the west of Jubilee City. Now, you might be asking yourself if there was a route to the west of Jubilee. Yeah, well, there was. And we're going to be heading there in the next part. So, my name is always Master Starman. See you guys for that. 95 base power special attack it's like 30 it's like an additional 30 30 boost from what